Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-March to the end of March 2022 and it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Sagittarius. And it is a general reading so that means it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you'd like, you can book a personal reading with me. You can find all that information in the description box or you can check out one of your other signs. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed in general readings. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what is going on with you. Second half of March 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For the situation, the Five of Swords crossed by the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so there's, it feels like there's either some kind of betrayal or somebody is possibly acting really selfish. Um, we'll see, because this could be changing. This could be something that is changing. It does feel like there is some resistance to change, though. Um, let's see. For you, we have the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Five of Wands. What is going on here? Well, you're definitely trying to move away um, from something here, either from this connection or from something. I feel like it's from this connection because you feel like it may have been um, keeping you trapped or you feel like it's been um, creating a lot of anxiety for you, a lot of conflict. And you're just about ready to walk away from this. Let's see for them. Queen of Pentacles the King of Cups, and the Page of Cups. All right, well, we're going to need, we're going to clarify all of these, but um, it's interesting that this person is getting three court cards here. They're wanting to express something here to you. They're wanting to express um, some emotions because this person does have a lot of emotions and a lot of love for you, all right, with this King of Cups being right smack in the middle here. I'm not sure if this is another person that is showing up here or we'll see, we'll see. I'm going to wait until we clarify. Let's see the potential outcome here. We have the Emperor. Okay, so might be dealing with an Aries <clears throat> for some of you, but somebody is really taking control here and I do feel like that is you. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. So let's clarify this Five of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. All right, we have the Sun. That's Leo energy. The Three of Swords and Justice. Okay, Libra. There's a lot of pain here. Wow. There's a lot of pain because it feels like um, there's it, it's like there's been a betrayal in some way or another. It doesn't have to be um, cheating or being unfaithful. It can be, but it doesn't have to be that. It just feels like there is this rigidness. Like somebody just doing um, what they want to do or not doing what they want to do, but doing it like, like really sticking to that and hurting their own self and others in the process. And it feels like there's this change here that's like imminent. It's like it's there. But for some reason, it's like, it almost feels like this person is doing quite the opposite, like not allowing that change to take place. And it does involve making some kind of a decision here. I don't know, let's see. <clears throat> let's see, I mean, we do have a very positive card here and we do have a lot of um, positive cards in this person's energy. So this could be like what the situation has been. I 
because I, I also feel like with this justice card that there's this um, desire to actually make things right, to take things back to that happy place, because I feel like that there was this happiness or this potential for happiness and then it was betrayed um, because somebody was not allowing that wheel to turn. Which, which, yeah, that's what created the pain. Wanting to make this right. Well, let's see. Let's see the Eight of Cups for you. We have Death, okay, Scorpio energy, and the Three of Cups. So I don't know if you were already, like, in some kind of a separation. Um, that's kind of what it feels like. Because I, I feel like you're, what you're putting an end to here or what you're trying to walk away from is the possibility of a reconciliation. You're trying to walk away. Like, really walk away. <laughs> like, really detach. To the point of, yeah, you know what? Like, this is done. There is no, there is no coming back together. Or there is no, um, you feel like you're not finding happiness here or that you cannot find happiness here. Let's see the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and Temperance. So yeah, that's your energy also here. There's something here that, uh, it feels like you're, um, you're looking at something so deeply looking at the details so deeply that there's something in the bigger picture that might be escaping you. So I feel like with this temperance card, um, it's like you're being asked to really try to um, like moderate that. To not allow yourself to to analyze so like hardcore into like one specific thing. I don't know what that could be. Because it's going to be different for each of you, but it's like there's one specific thing here that you're like overly focused on and that might be um, contributing to you, you know, not feeling so great and feeling this conflict. Let's see the Five of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, I feel like it could even be that you might be misinterpreting something that you're focusing on, like, so much. Either that or, you know, something in the bigger picture is escaping you, which is actually creating more conflict between you and another person or this connection. And not only that, it's also um, making you feel less stable, less grounded within your own self. So yeah, that's more of like, it's more of like a guidance here, right? This is something that you have control over. And it's interesting because then we have the Emperor as the final option here. I feel like you do take control over this, you know, for your own self, you know, so that you're not um, experiencing this in a more difficult way than you have to. So let's see for them. Let's see the Queen of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, it really, this is, it might be similar to Leo. Um, I feel like this is another person here. It does not have to be a relationship, but I feel like there's another person here that might be influencing this person. But I actually see this person fighting back. So it's like standing up for themselves. And I feel like actually with that Five of Swords, that's probably, you know, what what they have been wanting to do, that they need to turn the wheel in the direction of actually standing up for themselves, fighting back against some other energy. 
not necessarily fighting against the person, but an energy that might be associated with another person. Let's see the King of Cups, Six of Wands, and the Eight of Swords for them as well. All right. <laughs> Which is actually in the same position, well, as a clarifier though, as your Eight of Swords. This person wants love. This person wants love with you. They, they want to have um, success with you. They want to follow their heart, but they're like staying stuck in their headspace as well. So it could also be that they are over analyzing something as well, just like you are, but just in a different way and for something different. Let's see the page of cups, the four of wands and the page of swords. Okay, so this is definitely some communication here. I feel like this person is going to actually um, open up to you in some way and express express some deeper emotions about about commitment. And it's actually coming in as them wanting this, <clears throat> wanting this with you and talking about this, this possibility or just exploring it in some way or just talking about the feelings that are involved in the connection that the two of you share. Let's see the Emperor. The Five of Cups and Judgment. I actually feel like, you know, when this person um, communicates in, in whatever, you know, shape or form, it doesn't necessarily have to be verbal communication. When they do, I actually feel like you with this five of wands, like you're not really, and that seven of swords, I it feels like you're not going to be so open to it because you're already trying to walk away. And so here with the emperor being as the... Um, potential outcome with the Five of Cups and Judgment. It's like you are, there's this, there's this sadness, right? Uh, um, about feeling like, you know, there has been a loss here, but at the same time, there's also this, this hope, this essence of a new beginning. So it's not very clear. I feel like for some of you, there might be um, an apology here and then forgiveness. An apology from the other person and then forgiveness on your end. But at the same time, it's like there's still this... A bit of sadness about the past and about whatever it is that may have happened. Although you are empowered though. You are like in control. You are feeling okay about it. Almost like you're overcoming this sadness. So I really feel like it's going to be, um, it's going to be different for everybody. Like, it, you know, it's like, it's your discernment to make of what you want to do with this communication that is going to come through. All right, Sagittarius, interesting reading, a little complicated and a little confusing. Um, but hopefully it'll make sense to those of you that this reading is for. All right, so the last card out of this resonated, we have awareness. Live in the moment, be conscious of your thoughts, look for signs and guidance. So yeah, awareness, be aware of this, you know, what it is that you might be focusing on too much. Be aware of the bigger picture. Be conscious of your thoughts and look for signs and guidance. All right, Sagittarius, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.